Hi, my beautiful brothers and sisters. This is Mary Hernandez with part three. Um, the video kind of cut me off. I only had one more Bible verse to finish and then I was going to do part three. Either way. Um, so with that being said, the title is Blood and Water. The last Bible verse, which is on Exodus 14, it is Bible verse 21. And I just wanted to finish, start it off. But, you know, I was going to finish it, but start off. It says, and Israel saw that the great work, which was, this is which, uh, sorry, let me read it again. It says, Israel saw the great work, which the Lord did upon the Egyptians and the people fear the Lord and believe that the Lord and his servant Moses, you know, it's just beautiful. Right? Wow. So then it brought me to Exodus 10. Exodus 10, um, I'm going to read it all, okay, and then it says, and this is about stretching over the, you know, the, the arm over, and this is God preparing, we're preparing the way for the Lord as we're going, of his second coming, and to repent from sin, to get on the OS, Noah's Ark with us, you know, and this is really, really like, if, if people want signs and wonders, he's doing it. People are getting visions of the rapture. Some might get visions of hell. And if you get one of hell, you better like, if you get one of heaven, get right. Repent from sin. And this is not to scare you. It's not. You know, this is to really open your heavenly eyes and um, take the veil off so you can see it of the way that the, what the Bible really says opposed to what the, the man's um, way they were reading it and saying that the Bible said. You know, and if, as you all know that it was saying, um, I named it blood and water, but it was saying how it was saying blood sacrifice that people said, well, you kill. It says it in the Bible. And I just read that to you. He never said that. You don't do that. He doesn't kill, steal and destroy. That's not who he is. The beast system, which is the man system that had you believe in cosmos is the waste way. Um, Google Cosmo Bible meaning. And then you'll see that read into it and use your discernment because it's going to give you quite different ones. But it. Revelation, and some of them will even detour you back to the Bible. So with that being said, this is the Lord said unto Moses, go to Pharaoh that I have heart in the heart of the hearts of the officials that I may perform the signs in my among them. That's why he did that. So people could know the power that he had. That's why he hardened hearts. So when people don't believe, he said, all right, he says, I will harden your heart and you will see me work through my daughter. You will see me work through my son. So you could believe because you're going to sit there and say, hey, what did she do? I says, I just pray. And he does it, you know, and it's, this is real. And this is, this, this, this is what he's doing is me stretching the arm over the Red Sea. That means I'm dividing it. And I'm telling people, which side are you going to be on? It's a blood covet or the water covet, the pathway to hell pathway to the new heaven the new earth and this is real and i back it up with bible verses really it's all in there and then it says that you may tell the children and the grandchildren how i dealt harshly with the egyptians and how i perform my signs among them that you may know that i am the lord moses and aaron went to pharaoh and they said to him this is what the lord the god of hebrews says over to them that you will refuse as this, how long will you refuse and humble yourself before that the people go that I may worship, they may worship me. But if you refuse to let them go, I will bring a locust into your country. Tomorrow, they will cover the face of the ground so they cannot be seen. I will devour what little that you have left and I will haul, including everyone, tree, everyone tree and the growing in your fields. And this is everybody. As you're starting you, you're starting your own family tree. You're growing that. They will... It says they will fill your house of all the, the officials and the Egyptians come near. Your parents nor your ancestors will have ever seen in the day that will settle in the land until now. And Moses turned and left Pharaoh. Pharaoh's officials said unto him, how long is this man is going to be a snare on us? Let the people go so that you may worship the Lord. So they may worship the Lord, their God. Do not, it says, do not yet realize that the Egyptian is ruined. Then Moses and Aaron brought back Pharaoh to go and worship the Lord your God. He said, but tell me who will be going. Moses answered, says, we will go. It says, we will go with our young and our old, our sons and our daughters, our flocks and our herds, because we celebrate the festival of the Lord. Pharaoh said, the Lord be with you. I will let you go along with the women and the children. But clearly 
you it says you are bent on evil. No, it says have you only have you only the men go and worship the Lord since they have. It says since that that you have been asking for, it, then Moses and Aaron were driven out of Pharaoh's presence. The Lord said to Moses, "Stretch out your hand over the Egyptians and the locusts and swarm over the land and devour everyone growing in the field, everyone that is left in hell." You know, and as we're going in this journey, you see it. He's sending locusts. He sends everything to show that the power of the chosen vessels that are going in there, the light is with me. My father is with me. He is the light of the world. He protects me. And I've seen it. Signs and wonders in this journey from the very beginning. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, he's, he's doing it. He's given signs and wonders all over the world. This is just the... The Jesus Awakening. So with that um, brought to prompt is I, I kind of well I googled because I wanted to know the meaning of um, of the stretching over the sea. But it's it's preparing the way of the Lord, having the clearing the path. You know, so we go. But what was it with Joshua? He cleared the path as he went in there. He removed the enemies, and then he gave the go, and then the the flock and the herd will come in. The children, as we're following, as we're journeying in, he's saying, "How many people are you bringing with you? Are you telling them about me?" I'm telling you, from the very beginning, I was knocking on people's door, and I would and I would tell them, you know, because I was like, "God, oh, what do I say to them? I don't know what to say to them." He said, "What did I do for you?" I said, "You saved my soul. I'm a witness of the light." Well, go tell them. I started knocking on people's door. Seek the kings of the kings of um, seek the things of the kingdom of uh, of God. You know, the end is near. Or I mean, it was a Bible verse that you go. He saved my soul. He did it for me. He could do it for you. But I, I started going to the churches, and this is just an example. <laughs> and they would have little, um, like the church that I go to now. They would have little ones like this. So I would grab it, and I was knocking on people's door and asking them um, to go to church. You know, I always say give hell, hell, you know, he has given us hell all our lives with our family, our ancestors. It's time we fight back and how we fight is in prayer, you know, shunning the things of the world, sin, you know. So I wanted to read that real quick with you. Um, this is a relevant biblical of the text is Exodus fourteen twenty one. Read the follows that Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove out the sea back by the strong east winds in the night. It says, and he made the sea a dry land and the waters were divided. You know, that means he, he, he removed the enemy. He sit in there and he tells you, I leave some the throne. He says, I sit, I leave some for a thorn so you can continue and not get comfortable. <laughs> and he gives us the victory over and over again. And it's all in there. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. You know, um, hold on, I'm so sorry. Kind of closed it, so I apologize. Um, it is Exodus 10. Um, we have Exodus 10, number 19, so I apologize. Um, the reason why I had even picked this is it goes with the parting of the sea. It goes with the blood and the water of the parting of the sea. The difference, what it means, parting the sea is the blood from the blood covet to the water covet. You know, it says that Moses lifted, it says left Pharaoh and he prayed to the Lord and the Lord changed the wind, a very strong wind and caught up the locusts and carried them into the Red Sea. Now locusts was left anywhere in Egypt, but the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. And it says, and will not let the Israelites go. It says, so the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand towards the sky and the darkness spread over Egyptians, the darkness that can be left. So Moses stretched out his hand towards the sky and the total darkness covered Egypt for three days. Remember how it has it? You could hear it. How it says, once God's children live, then there's three days of darkness. That means the light left because the light of the children is there with them. And if you're still functioning in the way of, of the beast system, 
then that's when you hear that you get the three days. And I know you've been hearing it all over TV. Um, and it says, so Moses stretched out his hand towards the sky and the total darkness covered all Egyptians for three days. It says no one could see any, anyone or else move but the three days. And yet the Israelites had the light in the place where they lived at because the light of God is with us. Mm -hmm. It says, and Pharaoh summoned Moses and said, go worship the Lord. Even the women and the children may go with you. Only leave your flocks and the herds behind. Moses said, you will allow us to sacrifice burnt offerings presents to the Lord God. Livestock to go with us and the half of the left behind. And some of them were worshiping the Lord of God until we get there that we will know when we use the worship for the Lord. And that helps you through the battle into the way into the promised land. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart and he was not willing to let them go. So Pharaoh and Moses got out of the side to make sure that you do not fear before me again. The day you will see, the day you see my face, you will die. You know, meaning God, because we cannot see God's face. Just as you say, Moses reply, I will never appear before you again. And this is just a parting of the sea. You know, that's just so you'll know. Um, so then to close it up, the closing Bible verse brought me um, to Proverbs 8. It says, thank you. <laughs> I said, I get so... So happy. My daughter-in-law brought me some sodi. <laughs> all these things get me happy. It says, no. so Proverbs 8, it says, do not wisdom cry and understanding for forth of her voice. Remember, the king woman that is, they also call her wisdom. Which she's a child of the Most High God, which is the one that has the, the birthrights, that holds the inheritance. So they call her wisdom. And that is on Proverb 8. And it says, Doeth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth on the top of the high places by the way of the high places of path. It says, She cried unto the gates, entering into the city, coming at the doors. It says, And unto you, O man, I call for the voice of the Son of Man. O ye, you simple and understanding wisdom, that you are fools, that you may be an understanding heart. Here, for you will speak excellent things, opening my lips, so it will be the right thing. And for my mouth shall speak the truth. Wickedness is in the abomination to the, my lips. It says, And all the words of my mouth are righteous, and nothing, there is nothing forward to preserve in them. It says, and they are plain to him that understandeth, and write to them that findeth knowledge. Receive my instructions, and not silver and knowledge, but rather, it says, a knowledge rather than choosing gold. For wisdom is better than rubies. All the things that desire are not to compare to it. I wisdom dwell in prudence and find knowledge in witty intentions. It says, the fear of the Lord to hate evil, pride and egresy. An evil way to the forward in the mouth that I do hate. Counsel in my sound wisdom that I am understanding and I have strength. By the things reign in the prince degree justice. By my prince rule and my nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are in with me. And yeah, it's this durable riches and righteousness. Righteousness is riches. My fruit is better than gold. And yeah, fine gold. My revenue is choice than choice of silver. I lead the way of righteousness into the midst, the pathway of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and to fill the treasures. The Lord possesses the beginning in his way before the works of the old. I was said, uh, from everlasting, from the beginning or forever of the earth was. It says, I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning or forever the earth was, that I was, <laughs> that I am, <laughs> that I was. You know, so, and there was no deaths that I brought forth and there was no fountains. I says, abounding the water before the mountain settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. It says, while yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. Therefore he prepared the heavens. I was there. I was there. He said, a compass upon the face of the death. When they established clouds above, they straightened the fountains of the deep. 
when he gave the sea decrees and the water should not pass the commandments, he appointed the foundations of the earth. Then I was by him that he brought up him, that I was a daily in his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in habitable parts of the earth, the delights of the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are them that keep my ways. Hear the instructions and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me. Watch daily on my gates, waiting to post of my doors. For those that find in me find it life. Those shall obtain favor for the Lord. And this is I. For he that sinneth against me wrong his own soul and all that hate me love death. As I am here for your heavenly purpose. And that's what he put me. I am wisdom. I am a child of the most high God just to come and deliver the message from heaven, which is deliverance. And it preaches liberty and it preaches truth. Because that's who our creator is. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. He is the Lamb of God. And it tells you that she was there from the very beginning when he said, do this and do that. She says, I was there with him. The creator of the ends of the earth. The firstborn of this world. Israel. And that's all in there. Just read it. And that's Proverbs 8. That's why I told you if I would have sat there and stopped praying. It's okay, baby. If I would have started and I would have gave up, it literally would have been hell on earth. I'm telling you. And I'm here to preach you the truth, and that's why hell fought me so hard. And most of you might have not have known, but it's true, you know, and some that knew, they knew, you know. But with that being said, I never stopped. They tried stopping the witness, but this witness continues singing like a canary and preaching the truth. And that's why I always tell the ladies on here. They get on there and they preach. Do not lie to the people. You guys have been lied to enough. It's time to give them the wisdom, the knowledge, and the discernment so you can know from right to evil. So now you're being told. So when you sit there and we're parting the sea, it's either you're going to be with the blood or you're going to be with the water. We're parting the sea as we're going. And you know, Ark, who are you bringing with you? Who are you bringing with you?